Lesson 6.7, Similar Right Triangles. Okay, now the height of a triangle can also be referred to as the altitude. All right, now here we have the Similar Right Triangles Theorem. What's going on here? Now, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, so here we have this right triangle, and from here, we're drawing a line to the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse. And we're drawing this line. Let me make it a different color. We're drawing this line. Then two triangles are formed, and they're similar to each other and the original triangle. So here you have this red triangle that we originally started with. Then you have this medium, or what I like to call the medium triangle. And then you have this small triangle. And they're all similar to each other. All right, so here's the red one. Here's the blue one. And here's the green one. All right, and I just reoriented them so they're in the same position. And now we can see how they're all similar. We have these three similarity statements. All right, let's uh, recall what it means to be similar. If two triangles are similar, then their side lengths are keyword is proportional. Okay, what does proportional mean? It means this. All right, in other words, the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal. Okay, now, just as a little refresher here, if you have two triangles that are similar, you know these are the corresponding angles, and they're congruent. And the other most important piece is that the ratio of the corresponding sides they are all equal to each other. All right, so here's a little concrete example below here. All right, so you're taking the ratio of the corresponding sides. That's what we have right here. And they're all equal to a half. All right, that's how it always is when you're working on similar figures. Okay, but we're really focusing in on this idea for this lesson. Taking this triangle that we started with, drawing this altitude here, and breaking it up into three triangles. And more specifically, breaking it up into three similar triangles. All right, so let's do some examples applying this idea of similarity. All right, so the strategy for solving similar right triangle problems, draw three separate triangles and label each triangle with any given information. Okay, I'm gonna draw three separate triangles. I'm gonna draw the small one. That's the blue here. I'm gonna draw the medium one. That's the green. And I'm gonna draw the red one. It's the big one here, okay? So for the blue, I know this is 4, and this is x. Then for the green, I know this is x, and this is 9. For the red, I know this is 13, right? Okay, that's all we can do now. All right, for part 2, based on the information given, set up a proportion to solve for a length or variable. All right, to solve a proportion, you first... What do you first do when you want to solve a proportion? You have to cross, multiply. All right, so for this triangle, we need to find the value of x. How are we going to do that? Well, I know this side here corresponds to this side here. So I'm going to write x over 9. So I'm going from the blue triangle to the green triangle. You want to be consistent with how you set up your ratio. So x over 9 is equal to... 4 over x. All right, so there's my proportion. How are we going to solve this? I'm going to cross multiply. So I get x squared is equal to 36. I take the square root of both sides, and x is equal to 6. Solved for the variable, I am done. All right, very simple problem to do if you understand the idea of similarity. Okay, let's do another example. All right, once again, I have a little right triangle here. 
So I'm going to draw it like this. And I'm drawing them all with the same orientation. Then it's easier to see how to set up the ratios. Let me label the blue triangle first. That's going to be x. Hypotenuse is 4. Be very careful with how you label it. All right. And this side here is going to be 16 minus x. Then you have the whole thing. Okay, which is which is let's see the hypotenuse is 16. The shorter leg is 4. Okay, there we go. All right, so looking at all these triangles here, let's see, how can I solve for x? Well, I know 4 corresponds to 16. They're both the hypotenuses of the triangles. Then I have x over 4. All right, so that's all there is to it. 4 times 4 is 16. I have 16 times x. Divide by 16, and x is equal to 1. Done. That's all there is to it. Once again, once you know how to apply the idea of similarity, problems are pretty simple to do. For example, 2, let's see what we have here. Find AC. AC. Okay, AC is this whole thing. I'm just going to call it, you could call it x. I'm just going to keep it as AC. Okay. So I have this blue triangle here. I'm going to label them. So this will be D, this will be A, and this will be B. And this will be 5, and this will be 10. Let's go on to the green triangle. So let's see what I have here. I have nothing for this triangle. All right, well, this is my D, this is my C, and this is B. And then for the whole thing, what do I have? I have A, B, and C. This side is 10, and I'm trying to find AC. All right, so I know this side corresponds to this side. So 10 over AC is equal to 5 over 10. So I multiply. Cross multiply, got 100 equals 5AC, divide by 5, and AC is equal to 20, and that's all there is to it. All right, so it's a matter of just drawing all the triangles, making sure you label all of them correctly, and then eventually you'll be able to see how to set up the proportion correctly. All right, if you have any questions, please make sure to ask. Begin the assignment.